violence going to going through the different presentation I have seen this session. It was a complete package of training. Whether it was circuit training, whether it was outdoor ex exercise or physical activities, or whether it was strength training, or whether it was development of active start phase of long-term athlete program. All these training packages are quite comprehensive, but having a lot of deficiencies which were presented over here. And, uh, but um, I think so, it was the first presentations of all the candidates which you, uh, were presented over here. And uh, no sports is without strength, circuit, or long-term athlete training program. And the one presenter who was, I think, he was Usman Mahmood Naveed. He has just uh, discussed over the first phase of long-term athlete development program. At international levels, whenever we are going for long-term athlete development program, it means we start from his or her childhood up to the level of his end of career or professional life. And during whole this scenario, we develop that particular athlete, whether it's his or her academics, his professional life, his uh, domestic life, or coaching life. So we have to take all the care about that particular athlete. So that is the long-term athlete development program. Similarly, one presenter, present Mr. Shushe, uh, circuit training for VO2 medicine. Uh, there is a hell of variation in circuit training. Uh, there are some points that's missing, but it's okay. Uh, actually, the circuit training is of three types. Circuit body weight training, circuit weight training, and super circuit weight training, where one is anaerobic and other is aerobic. So, we go for one station for aerobic training and for anaerobic training. While he was uh, going to checking the VO2 maximum or want to improve the VO2 maximum, then he should must go for cardio type exercises like electrical cross trainer, like jogging, like brisk walk or like skipping. So such sort of stations should be made. And similarly, I have seen the, another topic that was the uh, effect of strength training on static and dynamic balance, which is the most important part whether you are going to perform any sort of physical activity outdoor in sports, whether soccer, hockey, basketball, volleyball, you need the strength. And the strength is the major point of improvement in our sports performance. So whether it is balance, whether it is your speed, whether it is your coordination, whether it is your body composition, you need strength. So strength is then the main ingredient of your any sort of exercise. Similarly, another participant, Ms. Ulfat Bibi, effects of core training on speed and agility. Actually, course strength of core training is just the strength of training of our stabilizers. Whenever we go for any sort of exercise, there are four types of muscle involved, agonist, antagonist, assisters, and stabilizers. <coughs> stabilizers are actually the economical usage of power of our body during any sort of activity. And the core exercises or core stability exercises are useful for longer duration of sports like by scripture they remain stand over the ground for about six to seven hours they need the cuff rotator muscles and the abdominal muscles and knee muscles and specifically while he was going for the soccer player then he should or she should try to emphasize on VMO, vastus medialis of leap in knee training. 
So it was a quite a great package of training and it, it was uh, having some sort of lacking but uh, I think uh, yeah, such a young researcher will go further for the study and go in depth uh, to inculcate their future studies. I hope they will try hard and work hard uh, for coming time and it is the first step towards their excellence. Thank you very much. Thank you.